Let's characterize. Join me for breast ultrasound mass characterization. On this edition, let's look at the shape, margins, and borders of a breast mass. Let's discuss breast mass shape. Shape is the form or structure of a mass. There's three shapes in breast ultrasound imaging, oval, round, and irregular. Benign shapes are oval or round, and benign shapes displace surrounding tissues. Malignant shapes are round or irregular. Malignant shapes invade surrounding tissues. One thing to note about round shapes, round can be either a benign or a malignant shape. With a round mass, the AP dimension or the height of the mass is increased compared to an oval mass. This can be a sign that a mass is starting to not respect the tissue planes and starting to grow more vertically in the tissue. The margins or edges of a breast mass are our next characterizing feature. First, let's talk benign breast mass margins. Circumscribed margins are well-defined margins. They're smooth margins. You can trace the outline of the margin all the way around the mass, and there's an abrupt transition between the mass and the surrounding tissues, and it's clear that the mass is displacing the tissue planes. Next, we have macrolobulated margins. This is when a mass has three or less large lobulations, and lobulations are a rounded projection from a mass. These are lobulations that are greater than two millimeters in size, and overall the mass is shaped like a cloud. Time for malignant breast mass margins. And there's several malignant margins. The first one is known as non-circumscribed. These are ill-defined margins, they're obscured margins, and the transition between the mass and the surrounding tissue is hazy. The edges of the mass are poorly visualized, and this indicates that the mass is invading surrounding tissues and or that there's a host response of the surrounding tissue to the mass. The next category is angular margins. For angular margins, I want you to think starfish shape. These are jagged, irregular borders. One or more margins of the mass has sharp pointed corners. Our next malignant breast mass margin is called microlobulated. These are multiple small lobulations. Lobulations are rounded projections from a mass. Microlobulations are less than two millimeters in size, and this is indicating that there's fingers of invasive tumors trying to spread out into the tissue, and it's shaped like the petals of a daisy flower. Spiculated is our next category of malignant breast mass margins, and these are lines that radiate outward from a mass. They're hypoechoic when they're surrounded by glandular tissue, or they can be hyperechoic when surrounded by fat. When the spicules are not fully developed, an echogenic halo can be seen around the mass, and this is the most suspicious malignant mass margin. It's the feature most indicative of tumor invasion into the surrounding tissues. And for this mass margin, I want you to think of an octopus. It's shaped like an octopus. The next method of characterizing a breast mass on ultrasound is by looking at the borders of the mass. The border is the characteristics of the tissue that immediately surrounds a mass. And for the border, the echogenicity and the thickness of the border are important breast ultrasound characteristics. First, let's look at benign borders. There's three types of benign borders. The first type is no border, which is known as no capsule around a mass. This means that the breast mass has no echogenic border surrounding the mass. It's just the mass and then the breast tissue. The next type of benign border is known as a pseudocapsule, and this is a thin, echogenic, circumscribed border around a mass. It looks like a bright, hyperechoic white line. It's important to note that histologically, if you look under a microscope, however, that a pseudocapsule is known as a pseudocapsule because histologically it's not a true capsule that surrounds the mass. Although on ultrasound, it looks like a fully contained echogenic border around a mass. 
The third type of benign border is a true capsule, and a true capsule is a thin, circumscribed, hyperechoic border around a mass. It's indistinguishable from a pseudocapsule on the ultrasound. However, if you look histologically under the microscope, a true capsule forms an actual capsule or border completely around the mass containing the mass. In the breast, the only mass that has a true capsule histologically is a lipoma. Since lipomas tend to be hyperechoic, many times the true capsule is not distinguishable on ultrasound. So the vast majority of breast masses in which a capsule is visualized are going to have a pseudocapsule. And whether a mass has no capsule at all, a pseudocapsule, or a true capsule, whenever the border around it is thin with no irregular margins, and there's a clear delineation between it and the surrounding breast tissues, then we consider this a benign finding on ultrasound. Now let's look at malignant borders. There's one type of malignant border on a breast ultrasound, and this is known as desmoplasia, which is a thick, hyperechoic halo around a mass. It's going to have hazy, irregularly shaped borders with angular margins to it, it's going to be hard to delineate where some of the margins of the halo are, and this indicates that the tumor is infiltrating the surrounding tissue, and the tissue is fighting back via a host response. Note that when measuring a mass and desmoplasia is visualized, the desmoplasia should be included within the measurements of the mass. With desmoplasia, the mass is trying to expand via spiculated, angular, and microlobulated borders, and the body has launched a host response in which it's created fibrosis around the mass in an effort to try to stop the growth of the mass. It's a combination of these irregular mass margins and the body's tissue fibrosis, or host response, that creates this thick, hazy, echogenic halo around the mass. Want to learn more about ultrasound? Like, comment, subscribe, and tune in to our next videos on Wednesdays.